The sublayout element allows you to create sublayouts within the page builder. Sublayouts are regular page builder layouts but without sections. They consist of rows, columns, and elements. This is because sections always take up the full width of the viewport and cannot be nested into each other. It renders its content, meaning its rows, directly into the column where the sublayout element is placed. So, for example, you can use sublayouts to nest page builder rows or their columns into each other or to multiply a group of rows dynamically. Let's start with the first example. In my case, I have a sidebar on the block page, which means I cannot add rows to layout the main content column. But this is now possible with a sublayout element. I have prepared a layout which I saved in the layout library. By the way, the sublayout element has its own rows layout type in the library. If layout or section layouts are loaded, all the sections will be stripped and just rows will be loaded. Here I have a row with two columns. So now I have a nested layout with rows in the main content column. Now let's take a look at a different example. Here I used a sublayout to multiply a group of rows dynamically. In this case, I show a list of categories with their latest articles. To achieve this, you first need to set a content source on the sublayout element. In the advanced tab of the sublayout element, I set a source to a multiple item source. In my case, these are custom categories. These can now be used as a parent source by the elements within. So, for example, if we go to the panel element, you can see that the dynamic content is a parent source, so in our case custom categories. The same applies to the image element. In the grid element, on the other hand, I also use categories as the parent source, but here I load their articles instead. And now you can see how to use a sublayout element to multiply a group of rows dynamically. To indicate that the sublayout element loads a multiple item source, it shows a dynamic content and status icon and is highlighted green in the layout. And since it also contains a parent and parent multiple item source, there are P and PN status icons in square brackets. 